Elsewhere, South Africa has been hosting its first ever Ocean Economic Summit amid plans to diversify its economy and create employment opportunities. Over the next four years, authorities expect the ocean's economy to bring in $261 million from government and a further $4.5 billion from the private sector. CGTN's Yolisa Njamela has more. South Africa is targeting the ocean's economy to grow and transform the country's economy to create jobs and also attract investment. The country has an initiative called Operation Pakisa, which means Operation Hari in Sisutu language. Operation Pakisa focuses on unlocking and capitalizing on the economic potential of South Africa's oceans. The project aims to fast track improvements to create jobs and bolster the country's economy also ensuring that it is a stronger competitor in the maritime industry. The ocean's economy presents us with a potentially significant opportunity to unlock latent potential in our vast ocean and coastal heritage and assets and bringing its benefits to bear to the majority of our citizens, especially the youth, the poor and the working class. Clearly, in the light of the recent recession and contraction in the global economy as a result of COVID-19, we will need to, to, to work extra time and do some more in order to be able to realize this huge potential from our ocean economy. The Higher Education and Training Minister was speaking at the inaugural Ocean Economy Skills Summit 2021. The summit, amongst other things, is exploring the economics of the maritime industry and opportunities that exist to alleviate poverty through job creation and enterprise development. South Africa is a sailing nation and boat building nation. So that's the focus. We're trying to highlight the importance of sailing and boat building. According to the South African International Maritime Institute, South Africa's commercial ports handle sizable amounts of cargo with an estimated annual traffic and activity of some 30,000 vessels. This makes the country the gateway into the regional and international maritime trade. The industry or the oceans industry is quite a broad industry. It encompasses fishing, it encompasses shipbuilding and ship repair. It encompasses boat building. The oil and gas sector is active there. Our objectives are in economic growth and job creation. As industry players, we are in there to deliver services, to deliver products that somebody is willing to pay for at a price that is greater than what we have to put in to deliver them. The summit is expected to end with concrete directives as to how to practically maximize the benefits of the maritime industry. Yulisa Njambela for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.